Hey everyone, it's Marissa. I hope everybody is having a great day today. Um, today I wanted to show you guys a little something that I put together um, for some goodies. So they're goodie boxes that I um, put together. I started them last month and I didn't have time to finish it, but I finished it and I, it came out super cute and it's super simple. So I'm going to show you, as always, what I used. Um, so the paper line that I used was, and it's a Valentine theme. Um, is this paper pad by Recollections, and it's called Be Mine. Um, I'm not sure when this came out. It's a pretty old um, paper pad, but I picked this up from Michaels, and um, I'm trying to use the paper all up, and I use a lot of paper, and it still is a lot. So this is the paper that I used, and then my favorite, favorite Sizzix die is this Brenda Walton die. Um, it's it's the French bow. I don't know if they sell this anymore in the stores or online, or maybe you can find it on Amazon. But I purchased it from Hobby Lobby a while back, and it was $21.99. So this is my favorite bow die. Favorite. And then also, um, I just wanted to show you what the box looks like. This is a plain old box that I picked up from um, Daiso. It's... And I think I bought this for $1.50 at Daiso. So I have all my glitter pens in there. So that my daughter, of course, I have to label it so, she, so she's not going through all of my stuff. So I purchased this from Daiso. And I believe you don't have to use this box. You could use any box and alter it. But um, these were only $1.50. They were easy to alter. So that's what I used. That was my preference. So... I want to show you one of them. Look at how stinking cute this turned out. The box is super simple. I um, embellished it super simple. And um, so this is what it looks like. Isn't that super cute? So, okay, so let me just take this apart and show you. All I did was I measured the top of this flat face right here. This part right here. And I just um, adhered paper to it. And that's what it looks like, okay? And then I cut two strips of the uh, for the belly band. I cut them, I believe they're 11, no, one and a half by 12. So basically I just cut a one and a half piece um, of strip. Well, actually two strips because it wouldn't um, fit going around this way. So I cut two, pe uh, two pieces, one and a half, and just adhere them together. And um, so that's easy to just slip on and slip off. And look at how cute that stinking bow is. And this paper is good because it's double-sided. So all I did was add a little piece of embellishment in the center. And voila. Now for the inside, I'm gonna show you what I did in the inside. It was super simple. You can put anything in here treats, um, crafty supplies, or whatever. So when you open it up, I just have a bunch of, cause mind you, it was just Valentine's, so that's why I, I bought a whole bunch of Valentine candy. So what I did was I just put paper shred at the bottom, and then I even threw in some um, sequin mix that I have, and just sprinkled it. Oops. And I just put the candy. So I have some Jolly Ranchers. I have some trolleys in here. I have some gummy bears. And then I have some Reese's Pieces chocolate hearts. And I also put some Kit Kat in there. So as you can see at the bottom, there's just a whole bunch of paper shred and um, sequins and these little tiny pom-poms. So yeah, super simple. I'm so excited. Um, I'm actually meeting up with the girls today. And the, every year we meet and for, this is our late Christmas get together. So what, um, what we've been doing now, instead of making, um, giving gifts or making gifts, um, we are baking. And last year I baked some treats, but this year I didn't have time. So this is what I came up with. Um, we all love to snack all the time and I know my girls do um they're always 
having treats in their bags. So I thought this was a good way to gift some treats. Um, and the packaging, super cute, super simple. All you have to do again is cut one and a half by 12 strips. These are two strips put together. And the bow, or you could use any type of bow or whatever. My, my main, what I, okay. So what I wanted to do, and this was like a month ago when I started this box, was I wanted to embellish it super cute, have it layered with different type of elements and um, texture and all that jazz. But Marissa didn't have time for that. So I barely just finished this last night. And mind you, I am moving. So I try to get this out the way as soon as I could so that I can start packing my craft room um, because it is going to be a tough one. <laughs> so... Yeah, so oops. So I'm just gonna show you a few of them using the same paper line. Look at how stinking cute. Here's another one. And what I did is I just used all the different papers from the pad. I didn't try to go and make sure that they matched. Um, because I thought it was just super cute. That one. I have this one. This one's my favorite. Oh, this one's super cute too. I did this one. And I love how the papers don't match. So this is different than this one. It's just it gives a different um texture to it. So that they don't look too matchy matchy. And again, I these are double-sided papers, so I love how like this is blue and then the red peeks out from the bottom. So these are my treat boxes that I made for the girlies today when I meet up with them. Um of course, I'm not going to upload this video until after I meet with them. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, great way to give goodies out if you don't know what to do. Um, you need something quick. This was super easy. Daiso, if you have a Daiso by you, you can grab these boxes for $1.50. Or you can use any type of box. Slap, up, slap on some um, cute paper on it. Make a bow. You can embellish it with whatever you feel like. And then just throw some candy in there. And there you have it super cute so that's all that i have today i hope everybody has a fantastic weekend thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye for now